Hey everybody, it's Christine. I hope you're doing well. For those who are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing and welcome. I used to put out a lot of prophetic, prophetic videos preparing people for the soon return of the Lord. And sometimes you'll see Bible studies and teachings pertaining to getting to know him more and growing in our walks individually and together with him. And other times I'm here to encourage and um, exhort sisters, wives, mothers, and um, women who need hope for um, continuing in the high calling they've been granted by their Heavenly Father for Christmas one of my dearest friends gave me this book, The Garden Where I Grow. I love it because it's by someone, Gary Bauer. Um, we already have a book uh, from, and my husband was reading it. To my daughters, The Person I Marry, just to again prepare their hearts for um, that time and have their daddy be a living, walking, moving, breathing example of what a spiritual leader looks like. So it keeps us um, accountable. And this is just another blessing I wanted to share with you. It's all these little excerpts like poems and whatnot. And um, let me see here. It says... A family is like a garden, a vegetable garden. It takes hard work, great patience, and occasionally you have to deal with pests. But those who are eager to learn from the master gardener and keep at it discover that the sweetest fruits of love, joy, and lifelong friendships are well worth the effort. So I love it because there's scriptures on each one. And here, for instance, says, I know what gardening means. About many things I may not know beans, but gardening? Yes, sir, I know what that means. Every day hoeing, watering, weeding. Then comes tomorrow. It all needs repeating. Later, there's picking and freezing and canning. Did all this hard work figure into your planning? A little neglect can affect the whole crop. The chores can seem endless. When do they stop? When all of the harvest is finally in, our efforts pay off and the feasts can begin. In raising a family, hard work is required. When doing it right, you are probably tired. Tend to it daily. Water with prayer. Weed them and feed them. Be eager to share. Each problem and fear each deeply felt dream eat meals together do chores as a team the blisters and backaches may last for a while but trust me your crop will be bring more than a smile about many things i may not know beans but family yes sir i know what that means um i have a 20 year old and i have a nine year old and twin seven year olds and so i've learned a lot from raising my firstborn about what not to do and um you know, what works and to put the relationship first and all of that. So for me, this is um, so good to be reflective and um, to continue in my learning uh, about um, the role of help me in, in motherhood, um, even in this latent stage, because we're always students of the Lord. That's what a disciple is. And so here um, on this page, it says, you shall teach my commands diligently to your children. Deuteronomy 6, 7. And then this verse says, know the state of your flocks and put your heart into caring for your herds. Proverbs 27, 23. So I love how they all go along with um, what is written. I'll just share this with you quickly because it really pertains to our life. We're in full-time ministry, have been for 10 years, and we literally live um, on a prayer by faith in God as our, our provider as we um, disciple others and teach them how to follow him with their all their hearts, all their minds, all their soul, and all their strength. Um, so... Wealthy family means we never drink from crystal. Steak is rarely on our platter, but we're a wealthy family. We're rich in things that matter. 
We love to share our pleasant meals where jokes are often told. Laughter is our silver, gladness is our gold. Though steaks not on the menu and our tablecloth looks worn, our spirits feast like Mary King's. We serve a lot of corn. <laughs> I love it. It's like um, our family, we say we're um, neighborhood missionaries. And so we may not have a lot in the monetary sense, but we are truly rich with treasures from heaven. And this verse from Proverbs 15, um, verses from Proverbs 15, 15 through 17 in the NIV says, a cheerful heart has a continual feast. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Better a meal of vegetables where there is love than a fattened calf with hatred. Anyway, I just thought this is something that's not just for me, even though my girlfriend bought this um, as my present because we have um, times and meetups where we talk about how our family is a garden and how we, you know, plant seeds and water it and watch God grow and pick weeds from the garden and, you know, kill off pests. And so it was just something that she was full of joy to give me because of um, all of our chats and really it has blessed my, my life. And that's why I wanted to make a video for y'all to say, you know, maybe this is a devotion, um, a devotional that you can do with your kids. It's only a few minute, um, minutes worth of reading, as you can see, and you can maybe use the verses on the bottom of the pages as your um, scripture memory, uh, memorization for that week or that month or however y'all do. But she found this on Amazon from what I recall. And so I just wanted to share and bless you all. <laughs>